we have got to do a considerable amount of community engagement and community outreach because there is this reluctance to get vaccinated. I think it has to do with a lot of things that we can clarify. We're moving at a very rapid speed because of the urgency of the situation to develop a vaccine. We want to make sure that we're very transparent, that people appreciate that that speed is not compromising safety, nor is it compromising scientific integrity. In addition, superimposed upon that is something that we have to face the reality of, it's true, it's unfortunate, is the general anti-vaccine feeling among certain segments of our society. Then there's the issue of people not wanting to be told what to do by authority. There's a bit of the anti-authority, anti-science approach in this country. Those are all obstacles we have to take head on. And we've got to make as much open, honest, and transparent outreach to the community to convince them that getting vaccinated is for their benefit and the benefit of the community. And everything about the vaccine development and, and, and implementation will be transparent. Well, I think the convalescent plasma trials still need to be analyzed. A few trials have been done. Some are still lining up to be done. Uh, obviously, conceptually, it's something that you would hope works, but I think the proof of the pudding is that we've got to show definitively in a clinical trial that it actually does work. There was a recent study that showed that children from 10 to 19 transmit the virus as effectively to adults as adults transmit it to adults. Um, uh, things that happen between zero and 10 years old are not as clear so we need to gather more data since we don't have all the information that we'd like to have about infections in children.